Hey friends, today we're going to be making a squishy for Valentine's Day. In our case, we're going to have a heart. So take any old shirt or any color of an old shirt that you want. It has a design on the other side. Make sure you cut on this part. If it has a design like that, you're going to be needing a marker, stencil. In our case, we're going to do a heart for Valentine's. Some needles, a needle and a thread, scissors, your old shirt, and some cotton balls. Now let's get started. First of all, we're going to take our stencil and we're going to put it in the corner so we don't have to sew this corner. Next, we're going to put two needles here. Now let's get our needles. In instead of using some pins and, or some stuff, we will be putting them through. So the paper doesn't move when you're tracing and it looks nice. Now, if you're a child and you need an adult around, be careful because these needles are very sharp. So we are going to start. Oops. We are going to start tracing. Make sure you don't push. Just pull the fabric. That's all. After we trace it, we are going to cut this out and sew. After we cut it, you are going to pull out the needles or the pins. But be careful because they are very sharp. And now you can take your stencil off. And then you have this heart. Now we're going to sew it. We sewed it across. All the way up to here. Now we're going to flip it right inside out, slowly and gently. This is what it should be looking like if you made a heart. Now we are going to stuff it. So you take your cotton balls or stuffing or whatever you want to put in, not the food stuffing. So, and then you're just going to stuff, pull it apart a little bit. So it's like a foamy, cloudy land. Like so if, You could put anything that would be good for this in there. So now we're just going to put it in, we'll jab it over, make sure that be, this might be able to rip so I'd be, I would be careful if I was you. And so I keep pulling apart the stuffing or the 
inside the cotton balls and just putting them inside until the entire heart is full. Now, remember, if you're, if you're sewing and you don't feel comfortable, ask an adult for help. It's always better. Now, let's get that in. Keep going. Now that we have one side full of stuffing or, or fluffy cotton balls, we are going to slowly but surely push it in Push it in, push it in. All the way up here. This may take a while since you're... It's kind of tricky. Use a Sharpie. So you're going to take the Sharpie. If you want help, and you're just going to take it, and you're just going to push it up. Yeah, there. And now that you have it a little bit up here, you can just keep pushing it up and moving it around until it hits the top. Keep going, keep, and just keep going, keep going, keep going. Almost at the top. You just need to make it nice and tricky, tight up there. Get more and more in there. Make it as thick as you possibly can so it's more squishier. The squishier the better. So far, so squishy. So far, so squishy. Now just keep pulling apart your foam and keep pulling it apart and putting it in, shoving it in. If you need help, always ask the marker for help. So far so squishy. Now keep pulling it apart, keep putting it back in there, get it all the way in the back, make it nice and squishy.
keep shoving her back there. More and more and more. Now if you want a different feeling for it, then you don't have to pull the, the stuffing or the cotton balls apart. Now, before, when you're almost done stuffing it, try squishing it and making it the texture you want it to be and evening it out. Now, when you're done putting all the stuffing in, evening it out and all that stuff, you're going to sew this shut. Okay, we finished sewing it, so now this is our final product. Shout out to Jazza for wanting to have a paper squishy. We decided to, I de decided to evolve it and go with the yarn. Before you go, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, and like. Goodbye.